G'day guys. In the last video we introduced Coe's Theorem, which says that when transaction costs are low, the problems caused by externalities can be solved using private negotiation. But when transaction costs are high, we might instead rely on government intervention to fix market failures. So in this video we'll go over the ways that government can go about trying to fix the problems caused by externalities. So there are three main ways it does this. The first is through laws. Now an example of this would be noise laws. Work like construction that involves very loud power tools can create a negative externality, particularly if they're done at night. If people are trying to sleep and they're kept awake by loud power drills and other such things, and then they're unproductive at work the next day because they weren't able to get any sleep, that's a negative externality. The government tries to get around this by putting in laws that says between certain times you are not allowed to make particularly loud noises, you're not allowed to use certain loud power tools. So that is one method. Another method is taxes and subsidies. Now we've gone over taxes and subsidies in a previous video and we showed then that these should result in an inefficient outcome, but that was in the absence of externalities. We assumed a perfect market with no externalities 